Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video. I have kept everything that I've bought in America in a bag down underneath my makeup desk and to be honest, I need to film this video because I've been dying to try so many of the products that I have bought and I wanted to share with you just a few of them that I had gotten. Actually, there's not a few. There's like a whole bunch. So I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up over in America, what they have that we don't. I do own a lot of makeup. So my theory behind what I bought over in America was just the products that we don't have here and things that we can't get. So I did a few stops. So I've been to Sephora. I went to their Target, which is, oh my, oh my God, it's like so good. Their Target is amazing. But I bought a few drugstore things from there. I went to Ulta. I went to, I bought a few things from Morphe. So I want to share with you just a few things that I got. I bought them all around America, so there wasn't one particular place that I had stocked everything up on. I just sort of bought whatever I felt like I liked at the time. So yeah, I'm going to jump straight in, and today I'm going to start off with Sephora. The first thing that I wanted to share that I bought from Sephora is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Now, you guys, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would know that I use this religiously, so I just pretty much stocked up on this one. It's my Ride or Die eyeliner. I I've tried so many different other ones, but this one seems to be the one that I keep coming back to. So yeah, I wanted to share this one with you. So the next product that I bought while I was over there was the Marc Jacobs 27 Bisque Neutral. This is great for when I am not tanned. I really, really, really love the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I find it to be honestly the best foundation. It is on the more heavier, super full coverage side. So I am kind of limited as to when I can wear it. Like I feel like it's just good for like a nighttime look where you can go a little bit heavier. It literally does not budge. It is a matte foundation as such, but even someone who does have on the more dry to the dehydrated skin, I find that it really doesn't make me look too dry, which is why I quite like it. And a little bit it seems to go a long way and I don't want to feel heavy. So I like it because you don't need to use a lot and the colors are beautiful and the coverage is perfect. The Tasha, 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 Tasha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is a prep that you can put on prior to doing your foundation. It is really good for dry sort of skin. You can just sort of, um, Hydrate it before you put your foundation on. And then if you want to make your skin look a lot more lifelike and have a little bit more of a dewiness, you can put it on after. It sets the foundation, it makes your skin nice and dewy, and it also hydrates it as well. This is definitely on the more pricier sort of side, but I notice everyone on YouTube that uses it seems to really, really love it. So I kind of bit the bullet and I bought it. I did actually use it maybe once or twice, and I found and just from those one or two times that I have used it, I really loved it. I don't actually have this here in Australia, but if you can get your hands on it, I would recommend it just from the one or two times that I've used it. I really like the way that it makes my skin look. The next thing that I got, I'm so excited to talk to you guys about because I actually saw this in Vegas. I was just randomly in a Sephora store. The color of the palette just caught my eye and I, I needed it then and there. So I did buy it. It is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Now, I wasn't actually aware because we don't have Natasha Denona here in Australia as yet. I wasn't aware that she had this limited edition palette. Like I just thought that it was a standard palette. I don't realize, like I didn't at the time realize how lucky I was that I was able to get my hands on it because it was a sold out palette, like American wide. And you know, they were doing like this big restock and like, you know, it was like a big deal if you get it. So yeah, I was one of the lucky ones that was able to get my hands on it. It is so beautiful. It comes in a really nice gold leather sort of style palette. The colors are absolutely to die for. They are exactly what I love, like that really nice warm toned eyeshadow, the sangria, if you will, or the sunset, so original. The uh, makeup looks, it is so usable though. Like even though there's this quite a bright um, red and yellow, they are really nice to swatch. Like I actually just did a light swatch when I first bought it and it's just, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera with the lights, but I'm definitely going to do a makeup look 
with this i might do i don't know something including like the yellows and it's just such a beautiful palette and i feel like it can be creating beautiful like easy makeup looks that would look good during the day and the night so i'm so excited that i was able to get this i'm pretty sure it was about 150 dollars so it was very pricey but i'm so glad that i got it because i didn't really go too crazy with like palettes this time around so this was pretty much one of the ones that i'd gotten the next product that i got is the laura mercier skin Cre silk cream moisturizing foundation I got it in the shade Sand Beige. I am always on the hunt for different foundations, especially when you have the more drier sort of skin. You find a lot of the time foundations are typically made for oily skin. So I feel like I don't want to look like I'm cracking cement on my face. So I'm always on the lookout for something really quite nice. I haven't actually tried this. It's still in the box. It's a buildable coverage apparently. And, um, it is a luminous finish. It's got moisturizing agents in it and it also hides uneven skin tones and hard to cover the imperfections. It's perfect for normal to dry skin. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this one out. Next product I got is from Becca, the Backlight Priming Filter. Now this is a base primer that does have a little bit of a color in it. So it's like a primer. It's really good just to sort of put it underneath your foundation if you're wanting that extra dewy sort of makeup look not going to come out but it, it it's beautiful like honestly when i swatched it in store it has like this beautiful sort of shimmer to it i feel like that that would be really nice because i find it's really hard for me to get that dewy sort of look because again i have dry sort of skin so i feel like that this will be really good to create like a really nice dewy foundation yeah the next thing that i got is the cover effects custom enhancer drops in the color sunlight you guys might have seen these ones bouncing around we actually do have these ones here in australia they come in about i think maybe four different shades these ones are really good again if you want to have like that really dewy sort of look i'm so into that at the moment i did try this once maybe when i was in miami and i really really liked it i used it only as like a liquid highlight on my cheekbones and like just in all my high points and then put a powder over the top I feel like it really gave it like that extra kick. The sunlight that I chose is really good, especially if you are fake tanned. The other ones I felt like maybe might be a bit, bit too light and you don't want to look like you have strips of white down your face. So I feel like the sunlight one would be really good for that. Then the next thing that I got was the Kat Von D Lock It brightening powder in the shade petal now i've been so excited for this because i love kat von d's um makeup line i just think it's just so reasonably priced but it's also really good product so this is a loose powder but it's kind of like a bit of a pinky sort of tone to it which i feel like might be like a really nice look so that you can put under your eyes especially if you have bags and dark circles i feel like this is going to be a cancelling out agent so i haven't actually opened it i haven't even tried it so i'll have to let you guys know what my thoughts are on this one i think it retailed for about 30 dollars, which i feel like is pretty good for considering the laura mercier um secret brightening powder which is the same sort of size is about double that just to see what this is like as well oh my god i really i really went ham on the highlighting products the next one I got was from the Sephora brand. I have a feeling that this one is very similar to the custom drops from Cover FX, but it's it's more of like the no name brand style. So this is the Sephora brand. I haven't even opened this one yet, but it is like pretty much exactly the same as what that drops was. This one is in the shade Morning Light. I felt like this one would be really good, especially like when you're not tanned and you're not really wearing much makeup, but you just want to look a little bit more awake. This was so reasonably priced. Like I think it was like $12 or something. So I thought for $12, I want to give it a go and see what it's like. Then for concealer, I actually picked up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I have the original bye bye under eye but this one is the illuminating bye bye under eye and i'm just curious to see what the difference is it is a super 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 thick concealer it is something that cannot be used every day i feel 
it's great for like nighttime, especially when you're brightening up those areas. And this is a waterproof concealer and an anti-aging one, which is slightly different to the original. This is the original one. It looks like beaten up. And this one is like a pinky sort of color. So they're, they are different, but I don't know. We'll see. I just... I wanted to try it out. Like I said, I'm kind of feel a little bit crazy on the illuminating bandwagon. I feel like Matt's done. It's out. We need to try something new, guys. Try something new. So, yeah, I picked this one up and I'm really excited to use it. So, I'll keep you guys updated on that. As for blush, I have been really getting into wearing blush, which I have on today, which is so not me because I never wear blush. I always feel like I look really mumsy when I wear it. So, like, I figured, you know what, maybe the colors that I'm choosing aren't right for my skin tone and I need to find something that works for me because when I wear it, I feel like I just get like this extra extra pop of color on my face that I don't normally get. So yeah, I picked up the NARS blush and I got it in the shade Unlawful. So this one still has like a little bit of a shimmer, but it's more of like your apricot sort of tones. It is in the more orange sort of family. And I feel like because I do wear tan, this one will complement the tan a lot more. I haven't actually given this one a go, so I'm curious to see what it's like also, but I feel like I'm really going to like it because I do like NARS as a brand and I find that most things that I buy from them I really love so I'm also again curious to see what it's like um, the only thing that I can say negative about NARS is their packaging like it looks so beautiful when it is brand new and clean but like let's face it once it gets put into your makeup area into a makeup bag they just get trashed and I think it's because it's like that real sticky sort of like container that they have like I don't know like but I just feel like, mm, no, Nars, you need to come up with something a little bit nicer because even when I wipe it over, it never seems to look as good as what it does when you first buy it. Do you guys feel like that too? And then the next thing I got again was blush and I bought the Dandelion Travel Size Brush on Blush, Soft Blush. This one is still a little bit more on the pinkier sort of side, but I, I feel like it's a lot softer than most. So I'm curious to see what this one's like because I, I haven't even opened this one yet. So yeah, get ready for some makeup looks with blush because it's like my new favorite. Blush and illuminating is like my new jam. So I'm excited for that. Then I bought a few lip glosses from Sephora because, you know, when you're illuminating your face, you can't wear matte lipstick, right? When I was looking at the um, Marc Jacobs foundations, I spotted like their lip glosses and they are the High Shine Lip Gloss Lacquer. I got the color French Tickler, which is the number 316 and Sugar Sugar, which is 312. I haven't opened them. I haven't tried these either, so. Marc Jacobs has like the sickest packaging. Like I just love it. Sugar Sugar is more of a nudie pink sort of color. I feel like it's a little bit more on the opaque sort of side rather than the clear sort of side. I feel like this would be really nice with like a lipstick that I've got on now just to sort of lighten it up a little bit but still give it that little bit of coverage whereas French Tickler is more of a apricot kind of side as you can sort of see but it's more clear rather than opaque so that's why I chose those two they've both got kind of glitter in them which I initially when I saw them I was like ill I don't do glitter but when you actually swatch it on you can't see the glitter but that's finely milled glitter that is in there gives it that little bit of an extra gloss if you know what I mean so I really like those two colors that I've picked and then while I was at the Sephora section on the Sephora stand they had like a really affordable like nude nude like a proper nude nude you know what I mean come on don't make me anyway so this one is in you know what it's called perfect nude see there you go slightly opaque but it also has more of like that perfect nude to it so even though those three colors look fairly similar like in the bottles they are quite different then also the lipstick that i got i've spoken about it in my previous video the Too faced melted matte 
the new range that they've just released in this shade holy chic this is like literally my holy ground nude it's that nice nude color it looks so pretty with the sephora gloss over the top so yeah i'll show you guys in a video what that looks like also two things that i got is skincare and it's from the tarte skincare range it is the pack your bags eye under eye bags i always suffer really badly from under eyes so i'm really excited to try these out these were only like 15 dollars, so i thought i'll give those a go and then the other thing that i got was the friction stick which is also from tarte and it is like an exfoliating stick that you use whilst you're in the shower it's kind of spread it all over your face and you can just exfoliate it that way i haven't actually tried it yet so i can't even tell you but it's kind of a black color so yeah i haven't used that so i'm really excited to try that i feel like tarts like pretty reasonably priced so i thought i'd give it a go considering i don't know I hadn't used it before. Then the last thing that I picked up from Sephora was the Saint-Tropez One Night Only Gloss. This is a super sticky. I tried it one time. I didn't really know what I was doing when I was putting it on. So I think I just went a bit too ham with it. But you only need the smallest amount. And it just is like after you've tanned or you've been in the sun and you're about to go out at night and you want to look like that really glowy goddess kind of look, this is the product for you. It just kind of gives you that little bit of an extra boost. It's really pretty. It's got like little shimmer, glossy sort of things in it, high shine effect. And on the back, it just says that it gives your skin an instant high shine and luminous effect with our non-commitment wash off finishing gloss. Also, I wore it when I wore white and that was a bitch to get out. So maybe just don't wear it with white and don't put too much also i picked up the smashbox step-by-step -step contour stick pro i really wanted to try the kim kardashian west contour stick but that is just going to be like the kylie jenner of liquid lips um whatever i give up i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna try and sit there and get it so when i saw smashbox actually had the three stick in a box i think i paid about 60 bucks for it australian i feel like that it's really good um especially for you know contouring underneath your eyes also down your nose like this will be really good for that i haven't actually taken it out of the box i haven't even tried it yet so i'll have to let you guys know what they're like it comes with a sharpener and three sticks which is a contour bronze and highlight so you can create a really pretty bronzed highlighted contoured makeup look by just using these sticks and a little bit of mascara which i'm really excited to try this is a good alternative if you do want to try the kim kardashian west contour sticks and you can't seem to get your hands on it these ones i know you can get from mecca but i got mine in sephora overseas so but yeah i do know that they have them here in australia and the next thing that i got from skincare from tarte is the drink of h2o it is a moisturizing boost so it is a very light jelly style hydrating moisturizer i really love it especially because my skin is so dry i feel like it just drinks this i always put it on underneath my foundation even before the primer also it's just it's so nice it feels so like cooling on the skin i've been using it all the time while i was away like you probably can't even see it that's how like it's a real it's goopy and i just love it like it just has like a really nice stick so when you are putting and it oh it smells so good it smells like a beauty spa sort of stuff and yeah so i i have been using that and i'm really loving it like i i really do like this so far so my next stop was at ulta first thing that i picked up there was the urban decay quick fix charged up complexion prep priming spray like holy jesus like how many names do they need to get it is like the uh, there's another spray i can't think of what it's called but there's uh, i think it's like b5 or something so this is the other one to the b5 spray this is kind of like your mac fix plus you can spray it on before you put your foundation on or you can spray it on after to set it it gives you a really nice dewy makeup look while setting your makeup also so it is very similar to the mac fix plus but this is more targeted towards dry skin so again excited to try that next thing i got which is like all over instagram and facebook is heart shape tape concealer now it is only stocked at ulta they don't have it anywhere else so 
look at how big this jar is so i'm like excited i haven't tried this one yet i bought two of them because i feel like i'm gonna love it i got it in the shade fair neutral because i feel like the neutral tones suit my skin a lot nicer i do like the under eyes to be brightened up a lot so i'm excited to try this one out then the palette that i got at ulta is the la rock pro palette i i've obviously know what it is but i've never tried them the colors look beautiful i'll show you i haven't even taken this is the first time i've taken it out of the box so this is the pro palette and i got it in the neutral sort of tones because i feel like i can use this for work and it would be a good everyday sort of palette so i might create a makeup look using that also it came with a eyeshadow primer base as well then the next palette that i got oh my god you have to understand this is so exciting for me i was so devastated i wanted to get this palette when it was released in australia it sold out missed out couldn't get it again that was it then i saw it in ulta Too faced peanut butter and jelly palette I don't know if you guys have seen this on the Mecca website because Mecca are the ones that stock Too Faced here in Australia. So these colors are just to die for. So I'm so excited to try those out, like those orange and purple shades. Like, oh! Then last but not least from Ulta, I got the Laura Geller Baked gelato swirl illuminator in gilded honey now i've seen luster lux and desi perkins use this all the time but because we don't have laura geller here i wasn't able to get it so i was so excited when i saw it and it was in stock because i've heard that apparently it's always sold out it's such a pretty like bronzy highlighter i just want to pull it out i haven't actually used it yet but it almost looks like plastic like it looks fake so i'm really excited to try that it's a really pretty like bronzy sort of goldeny type of shade so yeah like it swatches out really nice and like you don't have to put a whole lot of pressure on there just to get some really good color but yeah i'm excited to try that one out too and then the next stop we are going to is to morphe i didn't buy a whole lot of like actual makeup because I can get that online anytime so i i'll start with the brushes i got a contour brush in the white this is the m4460 this is great for cleaning up your contour i'll use that for like baking underneath to carve out my cheekbones then i also got like a bullet um brush in number m517 this is kind of like great for like your outer crease um, the outer corner just to get in there just to deepen it a little bit and I also got a blending brush this is the M576 and it is really great because it's quite fluffy and I feel like that will be really great just to get into that crease area too and from Morphe I got their translucent powder so this is like kind of the similar thing to Kat Von D's but this is actual translucent so it is white clear i haven't opened it so i'll let you know about what my thoughts are on that one also then while i was in there i noticed they had the uh, jeffree star i noticed they had the jeffree star lipsticks um this is the money um collab that he did and i got it in daddy i only paid like 15 bucks for it so i thought why not so it's like a really nice like ashy kind of brown sort of tone so i'm excited to try that one out because i feel like that would be a really nice winter sort of tone to use the only palette that i got which i thought i could use it for work because i do a lot of makeup on um clients and things like that this is the 35r this is just like a, a really good neutral palette so i'm excited to try that because i've always been a fan of um morphe and i really love my 350 palette so i definitely am looking forward to using this too then i went to anastasia beverly hills in anastasia beverly hills then i went to anastasia beverly hills i picked up a couple of different things from there the foundation that they have which is in the shade golden i got it so that it would match my fake tan i'm really excited to try that because like i've said before i love my hourglass stick foundation so i am a fan of the sticks i like it how they can build up coverage so i'm curious to see what this is like i'll do a first impressions on that i actually got four liquid lipsticks while i was there i bought two of the pure hollywood i literally can't get that anywhere and i love pure hollywood that was my first one that i ever got and i've like just finished it and i ran out and i didn't know where i could get it and then when i was in their store i saw it on the wall and i was like i'll have two of those thank you i don't know if you can kind of see it because of all the lights but it's like a really super baby pink color like i feel like it's just gonna look like the um the two-faced one that i 
told you about before. Then the next shade that I got is Sepia and I didn't actually, I forgot that I bought this one to be honest because I feel like maybe this is going to be super similar to Daddy, the Jeffree Star one. And that one is the top one right there. So that one is Sepia by Anastasia Beverly Hills. That one is Milkshake and that one is Daddy. I love liquid lipsticks so you can literally never have too many. Next stop, Inglot. Times Square. I was excited to go in there. I got the Inglot Gel Liner. So this is the Inglot Gel Liner in black. And then I also got the Brow Liner Gel in the shade 20. And that just is like a, a gel eyebrow pomade. I also wanted to mention I ducked into MAC and I only really bought two things from MAC surprisingly. I got a, another refill of my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I love Fix Plus, I cannot live without it. Even though I buy a million of the same sort of thing, I always have to have my MAC Fix Plus because sometimes I just feel like that particular one. And also I got the Reflex, Reflex Pearl in the loose pigment from MAC as well. And it is like really great. It's like the most shiniest glittery, like glitter, Oh, I feel like it's going to give the most perfect halo eye. So I'm excited to try it for that. We're on to the last bag. We're going Target. So here's a few drugstore things. Yeah, I got these from Forever 21. They're like little eyelash colors. They were like $3.90. Finally got my hands on Milani 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. This is the Concealer Perfect. I got it in the shade 05 Warm Beige. I've heard so many really good things about it. Just looking for a super affordable foundation because you don't like to spend a lot. Maybe this might be perfect. So I'll do a review on that one as well. Then I also picked up two tubes. I got the Infallible Pro Glow. We don't have this here yet. So I'm really excited to try that. I got it in the shade Neutral Beige 205. I bought two bottles of it because I swatched it and it seemed to like a perfect color for me it is a radiant finish normal to dry skin and it's hydrating it has an spf of 15 in it so i'll do also a first review on that one too i feel like it is going to be something that i'm going to love and never be able to get so it's also a radiant 24 hour air light foundation it says so yeah then i also got the milani retouch and erase concealer it's kind of like the maybelline dark circle eraser it's got the little you know sponge on top and you can do your highlighting with that i got it in 01 fair pale and then last but not least i got a milani baked blush i told you that i was like obsessed with blush at the moment this is in the color luminoso 05 it is like a apricot sort of toned I don't know blush apricot i would say yeah it's just like it's not quite pink but it's not quite orange so i feel like i'm really gonna like that that was also really affordable i think i paid maybe like five dollars for it so i'm excited to try that out oh my god honestly i feel like i've been talking forever like i don't even know how long this video is gonna go for so just bear with me but i know you guys love it when i do haul videos so i don't think that you're really gonna mind if it's super long but yeah i just wanted to show you everything that i bought my travels over to america i had the best time again like i had so much fun the shopping over there is amazing i will definitely be going back to america especially to la i loved it so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed snooping in my shopping bag like i know you guys do if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my channel please make sure you do the little red bell button is down below where you can be notified every single time i upload a video also, all my links will be down below where you can come past and say hey on all my socials. I love it when you guys do. But until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. See you. Bye.